All right, so this is a genome uh, deep cool case, and as you know, it has the AM3 socket, and it will not fit on an AM4 board. This is the AM3 board right here. As you see, I just have the setting on here. But it looks like if you just drill a hole on either side, boom, boom, all the measurements line right up. So we're going to try to do that. Okay. So, you'll need to keep the bolts, or the screws rather, for the original brackets. Okay. And you're going to want to grab one of them, and then get a bit that will fit it. Okay, you're going to want to grab one of the screws, the original screws for the AM4 bracket and then get a bit, a metal bit preferably, that will fit in the hole of the board. So we'll just use the original bracket on the back. That right there will probably work, maybe a little bit bigger, but we'll use this one. And then we're just going to make sure your holes are on the other side here. You want to just barely sitting on there, kind of off, just so, just like that. It's kind of tricky. And then you're just going to mark it with a permanent marker on either side, and then drill your holes out. Okay, I couldn't find a permanent marker, but as you see, right there, it marked right there in between the groove. Okay. Second groove up, and then just hang it off the side so it lines up with these and then drill your holes in your aluminum piece. Alright, here's the new holes drilled. Okay, you want to take that and verify that your screw fits through your hole. Which it does. Okay. Okay, then you're just going to want to set it on there both screws in there, just line one side up at a time. Doesn't really matter, just set it on there. You don't want to grab a screwdriver, wherever that screwdriver may be. You know, we got it around here somewhere. There it is. A little hard to film and do this at the same time, but I'm just going to tighten this down. I'll just do a little bit down that side. you marked it right, it should line right up and tighten right down, just like so. And you don't have to worry about replacing the back plate now, because you already did that. Well, you didn't have to, because you're using the stock one. And there you go, that's on there. Now I'm going to draw out that side, and there we go. On a second note, make sure your holes, your old holes, or on the back side, not like this. You have to swip, swap it around, but it'll still fit. So, you got this one. Make sure the holes are drilled. You want to make sure that your holes are in the back. Like so. Alright. Okay, now you're going to need the original bracket for the AM4. What you're going to do is you're going to take a Dremel tool, something like this over here. Okay. And take a cutting disc. And you're going to lob off the top, just right there, right here, right at the top, just this part. Okay, flush with that right there. And then you're going to go around it, like that, because we only want this part right here. Because we're going to use that. If you don't have this, it can't tighten right up against the inside of the board. See, they got little holes around them. It'll just be in there loose, so you have to get these off. Don't break them. <laughs> now, there's a couple different ways to cut this off. You see, I was using the Dremel tool. It's kind of blurry here. And I broke my last uh, little disc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the edge of a knife and cut around it. And it'll just burn right through it. If you have a soldering gun, that'll work too. Just like 
like this. Super hot knife. And it will go right through, just hold it on there. And once it starts to stop cutting, you're going to want to heat it back up. Just throw it back on there. It doesn't take very long. I already got one done. See? You have little rough edges, but you could grab some sandpaper and clean that up. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be hidden. A soldering iron would be a whole lot faster but whatever you got I mean you do this is you know in prompt too so <laughs> Alright, so you just need to make sure when you do these, it doesn't really matter what they look like, like I said, they're gonna be they're gonna be hidden. But on this side you need to make sure that little hole right there is nice and clean. See you get a small hole and a big hole. It has to be clean on this side and all the way through of course. And you're just gonna wanna take them and that's it. Big side down first. See? Big side down and just set them right on the little pins that are sitting out. And a uh, second note, there's also a fingernail clippers work absolutely amazing for snipping this extra plastic off so you don't have to sit there and file and do all that other shit. Just want to clean it up, make it look halfway presentable. Like I said, you're not going to see it, but you do want a nice flat area here and here. And that's basically it. I mean, as you can see, it mounts right up. It's on there. I haven't put any uh, Arctic Freeze on there yet, so you guys can see it is indeed the Ryzen chip.